when you think about inserting text, you can think of it as just the basic words and letters. But we can also think about words and letters as having aesthetic properties just like shapes or any other element in visual art. You can use uh, words and letters to create patterns, to create a focal point. You can use text to create symmetry or to create balance. You can use text to draw the viewer's eye to a certain place on your image. You can use text and text boxes just like any other visual elements to create the uh, effects you're looking for. Of course, there are lots of different fonts and lots of different colors you can use, and you want to use those intentionally to help uh, enhance the message you're trying to create with your art. One thing you can do is just change one letter, change the color, you can tilt one letter. You could use a different font for one letter. When you have something like this where the letters are bold and have bright pastel-y colors, it gives kind of a happy, uh, maybe springtime feeling. If you add a different background color, it becomes a very different kind of statement, much more bold, and has sort of different emotional effects. A uh, font like this with this tan color gives a sort of dignified historical look and of course you can use fonts and backgrounds to create uh, a scary type of image. If you want to add text in Krita go to the big letter T here at the top and then it will allow you to make a rectangle by holding down your left click and stretching out this rectangle, I would make it as big as possible. Then it's gonna give you this placeholder text. So you just type the words you want in here. I'll type the word word. And then you select the font. I'll go with Gaudi Stout. There's basically the same fonts that you get on lots of other Windows programs. So now it's in Gaudi Stout. The canvas sizes that we're using are pretty big, so I would always make your fonts um, as big as possible. That's 72. It still won't be very big when we put it into the um, Krita file. So I'm going to go to Save and Close. And now there's our Word. We can move it around. If you want to tilt it, you can go to this corner here and tilt it. Now, if you want to make the letters bigger, go to your frame tool. And if you hold down shift and uh, left click and pull on it, it will keep the same proportions. Of course, you can always uh, stretch it, uh, tilt it that way, sorry, stretch it up and down, uh, make it wider or whatever you want to do. So there's our word. Now, if you want to, again, move it, use the move tool. If you're not, if you want to change the color, go to the select shapes tool, the arrow here in the top left. And then you just use your color wheel, uh, your color tools, just like you normally would to change the color. This is kind of necessary in Krita because you, when you first create the text, you can't see how it's going to look against whatever background you're working with. So that's the basic way you get uh, text into Krita. You can also import text from other sources. For example, uh, I'm using PowerPoint here and I've selected I typed my word into a text box. I selected the, um, when you highlight the letters, it gives you these menus to select the font type and the color. So there's the word uh, basic that I wanted in this Jokerman font in blue. And then the next thing to do is go to the file menu on the PowerPoint and go to save as, and instead of saving it as a PowerPoint presentation, save it as 
a JPEG, or you could also use a PNG. It won't support transparency, so later on we'll have to uh, remove the background when we get this into Krita, but we're going to save it as a picture, a JPEG or PNG, and then work from there. So once I have the word saved as a JPEG, I'm going to drag it into Krita and insert as a new layer. The next thing I have to do is select the letter so I can get rid of the background. I'm going to use the, not that one, but the contiguous selection tool. So I've selected the B there, then I need to hold down shift to do multiple selections. The I, the C. So everything is selected now, then I go to select and invert selection. So everything but the letters are selected and then hit delete. Hit deselect and there are, there is my text. And one thing you can do since this is um, being treated as a photo uh, is to use the filters to make adjustments to the colors. You can make these artistic filters, half tone. We'll make it look like that. We don't want that. Pixelize, posterize. Uh, different things like that. You can also do a gradient with your lettering. Let's see, where was that map? Gradient map and pick where you want different layers of uh, different parts of the image to be uh, opaque or transparent. So different ways you can manipulate that. Um, otherwise, to um, manipulate the size of the uh, lettering or change the position. Use your mirror, uh, your frame tool to move it around, use that. And so now we've imported this text into Krita. And another way to get text into your Krita file is once you have completely finished the Krita image, uh, save it as a PNG, and then insert it into to a PowerPoint. Go to the insert menu, go to text box, and type whatever you want to say. And highlight the text. I misspelled something there. Highlight the text. I like this one. We need to fix the letters. Once you have the text highlighted, you can change the size, move things around, and then work on colors. Clicking on this um, A, you have different colors to choose from, including the eyedropper. So if I wanted to match the color of that word to uh, one of the colors in the image, eyedropper, click on the pink, and there it is. You can move this around any way you want. And when you want more text, just add another text box. font, your size, and that's how you do it. Very easy to manipulate the colors and texts with PowerPoint once you have completed your Krita image. 
one thing you always want to do is make your text legible. So if the colors don't really stand out much, uh, you need to adjust them so people can see what you're trying to say. So try different things, experiment, and always use your text as a visual element to enhance the artwork that you're working on.